step 1, remove tear and mud from the water hyacinths. I woke up pissed off today And lately everyone feels fake Somewhere I lost a piece step of me two, fill the two glass containers Smoke with 5 liters of so lake water and label them A and B but I can't do this alone. Step 3. Insert 50 ml of 10% aluminium chloride solution into each Step 4. Pour the water sample in the test tube. Step 5. Drop 5 to 6 drops of ammonia in the test tube. And then step 6. Shake the test tube and wait for a few minutes to get the results. Last year took a toll on me. But I made it with you next to me Around the world and back again I hope you're waiting at the end But I can't do this alone Sometimes I just need a light If I call you step on seven, the phone Put you six on the water hyacinths so From step one to two Lastly, record the final reading of ammonia in coordinates A and B after 7 days using ammonia test kit. And after 7 days, here are the results. So, if you look at the glass container A at the end of the experiment, the reading of ammonia is decreasing. It's about half. And for B, uh, there's no change at all. Okay, so the discussion. So first, why must the common water hyacinths be washed first? It is to remove all the dirt from the roots. Water hyacinths is an obligated aquatic plant. It forms dense free floating mats, although it will root in sediments if treated. So, by washing the hyacinths, we can remove the dirt from the roots. And second, name other plants that can absorb ammonia from water. So, first one is Lemna species, a genus of free floating aquatic plants, referred by the common name duckweeds. Lemna species or duckweeds. And second is Hydrilla species, submerged aquatic plant that is the sole member of the genus Hydrillion the frog beads family. So, this is both the plant other than water yasins that can absorb ammonia. And then, what is the effect of ammonia towards the aquatic ecosystem? So, if there's too much ammonia in the ecosystem, it disrupts the food chain in a good ecosystem. Why? Because it gives difficult for aquatic organisms to sufficiently excrete the toxicin, leading to toxic buildup in internal tissue and blood and potentially death. So basically, ammonia can cause death. So that's why we need plants that can absorb the ammonia. So the conclusion is, the hypothesis is accepted. The roots of common water yasin are able to absorb the ammonia found in lake water. So that's all from us. Thank you.